Look, there isn't a formula. Um, I work. I work differently with different producers than I worked before, and I think each plays to the, its strength. The strength. You play to the strength of the producer. The producers play to the strength of the correspondent. I assume. Um, in terms of the story, the initiating of stories come from producers, from associate producers, from the correspondent. I can't give you a percentage. I would say I probably come up with, in a given year, of the 20 stories that I do, maybe a third. That isn't a function of me being particularly smart. It's a function of what really turns me on. Uh, really, and what excites my curiosity. Or, and the same, when I, I'm assuming, applies to everybody else. I think by the time we're ready to show it to Don Hewitt, um, I mean, in my, I can only speak for myself, I've got to be satisfied that that's the story I want to be on the air. I mean, that may change between then and then, but that's, I'm satisfied with the story. And to, to the extent of who has final say, I think the correspondent absolutely has final say before it gets seen by Dawn. I'm not going to show Dawn something that I'm unhappy with. I mean, we write these things, the story ideas, and shove them in. And unless somebody <clears throat> in, the, in the management class has, has some real objection, which is rare, I don't think. I can't remember the last yeah. thing that's been turned back and said, why are we doing this? I mean, in my experience. So pretty much if you, and, and occasionally when it does happen and you make a case, you, Dawn will hear you out and go with you. You, know, you may at that point wish you hadn't made such a case because if, if he doesn't feel that it's much of a story that, but we've turned him around on things. So he's open in that respect. So if you, after doing this for 30 years, you feel passionate about the story and it's something you want to do, I think there's a certain amount of trust around here that you're not crazy.